gonna kill my squash plants. I waited till after the last frost date before I put them out. But last night, it was uh, below zero. And I'm kind of scared to go out to the garden and look. I'm about to head out to the greenhouse. I'm actually just going to get an egg bucket to collect eggs in the basement. And I'm even scared to look at the greenhouse because minus two outside is really stinking cold for this time of year for gardening. It's not out of the question, but it's colder than I would like it to be and I can't find an egg bucket. <sighs> today is a fun day though because um, cows come today. We have one cow. And honestly, I don't want a bunch of cows because we're not set up for winter watering and I don't feel like dealing with freezing waters in winter. So we lease our hay field and our pastures. And, and today about three dozen cows are coming. Um, Cow-calf pears, some heifers. We actually bought a steer that we'll butcher in the fall that's coming with them, and a bull. And uh, I'm excited about this because I get to enjoy looking at cows and having cows in our fields, but I don't have to worry about the like watering and feeding them all winter. Oh, Squish, do you need your soother? Anyhow, I'm in the greenhouse now, and nothing looks dead! Things look pretty good. Okay, I don't need to stress. And it's almost 20 degrees in here, or 70 degrees if you're in the States, and the door's open. Whoa. Thank you children for this cup outside. Okay, let's go do the chickens now. So Mama may have forgot to uh, collect eggs last night. So we got two days worth of eggs here. But we recently sold about 20 laying hens. Because I realized we just had entirely too many. And so we sold them to some families that needed some more for their own consumption. And honestly that just served us a whole lot better. So we're still getting piles of eggs. Still over three dozen a day. But a little more manageable. So this here is a chute. And we have fencing that stretches across there. I'm guessing, this is how they load the cows to bring them back home, but I'm guessing they'll actually just back their trailer down here. But this is where my garden is, right? So, we're thinking... Can you put training wheels on this bike? You don't need training wheels, bud. I want them. Well, you're doing just fine without them. I just need them. Mm, doesn't really look like it. So, even with the frost cloth, Looks like very few of my squashes survived. They got hit on Saturday night, Sunday morning, and then I put the frost cloth on to save the rest, and it's not looking promising. It looks like probably I'm gonna go have to rebuy a whole pile of starts, and the sad part is that a bunch of the starts were things that my sister had started of these really neat heirloom varieties, and now I don't get to. You're not allowed to go to that pond. Not without me. So, those can't be replaced. It's not that simple. Need help with your helmet again? The other things, at least I can go to the nursery and buy more, but still, it's a bummer. It's a waste of money. This is my first year gardening in the north. Looks like I get to learn hard lessons. So the other day I was out here for an hour in which I got about five minutes of work because this baby was cranky. And by the end of it, I was feeling totally demoralized. I was like, a bunch of my squashes died, you can't even see my carrots for the weeds, and like, I'm having trouble even just getting out here to work without a baby attached to me, because it's really hard to work with a baby attached to you in a garden. And I feel like just lighting a match and burning the whole thing and walking away. And I said this to my sisters, and one of them's like, you have a newborn. Give yourself some grace, please. And the other one, who gardens here and has for a decade, said, you know what? I killed a lot of things in my first couple years, 
because I was like, the weather's nice, what do you mean I can't put this out? And then overnight, it's, suddenly there's frost or it's below zero. We're zone three gardening, northern BC. It's June and we're having below freezing weather. So this year is my first year with my own big garden and it looks like I get to learn hide, hard lessons by killing plants from frost. Freya, please do not ride your bike through the garden. Please, kid, get out of there. My sister also reminded me that this is the time of year when you have all sorts of things in the ground, but seeds are just barely coming up, but weeds are still really happy. And you put all this work in, but you're not seeing anything. So you feel like a failure. She said the last couple years she's felt the exact same thing. So I just need to take a deep breath and leave the garden alone for a few days and then we'll be fine. My priorities for this year's garden though are the potatoes, which we have eight rows of, my strawberries, that they make it through and make it through to next spring. And I've got my brassicas are still going strong. Ideally, I would like a lot of carrots and peas, but just small victories, guys. My brassicas are still looking great. As long as the potatoes do well, at least we'll have lots of potatoes to eat all winter. And that is what is most important for feeding our family. Some of my beans here, this one, has frost damage mm. but some over here they're looking happier so you know small wins nothing planted here nothing planted there well the peas are still good they are happy they have lots of weeds right surrounding them these guys. just be gentle with them please these ones. but they're all still happy they didn't get killed by the frost so we're small wins, right, Mac? Mm -hmm. We can't win everything. It would be nice to, but that's not how life works. The water is really high in this pond right now. Normally this little teeny pump house is completely out of the water. Our pump is on that side right now because it's a straighter shot. The garden is just there. So versus having to come all the way around here with fire hose, it's a straight shot that way. And uh, this is where we pump water from for the barnyard and for the garden. It's a very long little pond, but it's decently deep. And the water's really high in it right now. So it'll be interesting. We're going to be using it a lot more this year versus last year. So it'll be interesting to see how the water level stays. standing here between the two vehicles. Standing is a bit of a barrier. The cows already went through. Now the calves are coming, but I'm gonna hide a bit. The cow calves don't quite know the program. 